I was so happy. So, so happy. Mm, he's so good. He's so clever. <laughs> Well, hey there, vloggers. Um, so it's day two of Heartbreak. If you guys haven't checked out day one, you definitely should because it was great. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're on to day two now and I'm just editing the vlog, day one vlog. Um, and the ponies have been out, they've been mucked out, they've been hang raised, they've been made happy. Um, and I've had some breakfast and stuff, so I thought I'd start vlogging. I really should have started vlogging the minute I woke up, but that's always the hardest part, starting a vlog, is like, yeah, the initial part where you're like, I'm just so sleepy. I don't want to film, I'm struggling to function. But anyway, we've made it, and I've started up again. So, yeah, um, E. Wilf is on at 12.20 in the into one, which is exciting. And then Eagle is on at 3.52 in the Young Horse PSG, which is basically what it says on the tin. It's for horses um, seven to nine that are doing PSG, so Young Horse PSG. And it's really funny because this is actually, um, in December, I gave myself the goal to get Eagle ready for this. And that was my thing because he wasn't doing PSG at the time. I was like, right, I'm gonna have him ready so he can go to Hartbury and do the young horse PSG and we've made it which is really exciting and really cool um goals don't always like work out with horses like for example Wilf's goal was meant to be he was meant to do an in be ready to do an into two in February and um he's just still not ready and we're in July but that's fine because I'm learning to do it as well um so it's taking a little bit longer but we are getting there so just remember that as well with goals I don't know how I've got onto this when I'm just introducing the vlog anyway uh yeah, so that's basically what's happening today, kids. So let's get it into it. Let me show you my favourite bit of vlog yesterday's vlog. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, Olivia, you better fing nail this because. We need this for the time. <laughs> oh, Sask Queen. Okay, I was stuck with the laptop for another like 40 minutes editing, but I've done that one. So now we're gonna go and get a coffee and watch some ponies. By the way, someone the other day said that my guns were like, oh, goals. Just want to flex on camera. <laughs> It's from like Soul Calmer, which is like super dry. You'd hate super dry. <laughs> uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> Mum's bought her piaffing whip. Chief trainer, all the gear. No idea. <laughs> no, I think you do have an idea. So we're going to go and get sausage ready now. Watched a few. Don't whip me. Don't whip me. That actually hurts. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So 
So we just gave him a wash off to keep him cool. By the way, kids, if you want to do this, it's important when you wash them off not to let them go in the sunlight because it dehydrates them when they dry off. So it's fine if you wash them off to cool them down and put them in the stable. But don't do it in the field. Time to get ready. So I'm all ready and it's Wolf's turn first. So how am I feeling? A little bit more nervous than yesterday because I've done well yesterday or did well yesterday. There's that like anticipation of I want to do it again and um, yeah, I've basically just not got to let that get to me or like affect my performance um, because dressage you go up and down, sometimes you have good rounds, sometimes you don't and that's fine and I've just got to remember I'm working towards Grand Prix and just to try and just do my best, set each movement up individually because it's my um, performance statement is um, I believe in myself, I'm going to ride each movement calmly with determination and I just have to remember that if I just separate each movement and don't think about like oh, I'm about to go into the into one, just think oh, I'm going to ride this movement then this movement then this movement and do it calmly then I'll be fine if one movement goes wrong it doesn't matter it's only one mark uh, and that's about that so um, yeah let's go oh by the way people ask me why I have like a microphone on for the warm up um, it's so me and mum can talk to each other so this is mum's one and this is my one so I can hear her and she can warm me up and then she can ask me how it's going, how it's feeling, um, all that sort of thing, which really helps to, yeah, know what's going on and get them ready for a test. Let's do this. Hello, sausage. Mum's sharing Wilf's dunking bucket. Wilf, do you think you should stop eating now? Wolfie, so I've got my saddle on and I'm still eating. This weather is ridiculous, it's so hot, but um, I'm inside on Wolf. So they've got aircon in the competition area, which is good, not in the warm up, but in the comp one, so that's great. So the next to go is the turn of the Living House. Someone said your heart is gone 
I'm not sure how you did that. Gonna die. It must be close to 100 degrees now, isn't it? I've never been so hot in my life. Well, can hardly lift one leg up in front of the sweaty and gross anyway uh, let's talk about what just happened so I warmed up in the top arena at Hartbury which was like a sauna because it's wooden and there are no windows and also they've just had a new surface put in so I was like oh no this is gonna be interesting so I said to mum and she said to me we need to like do everything but not many times I was like right I've got to get everything right first time so I went to do my changes and they weren't great and I was like oh no now I've got to spend a bit longer on my changes um which is fine and then i got managed to do some pirouettes and then i had to go down um and i hadn't done like my half pass zigzag i hadn't done my trot i hadn't done my center lines i hadn't done like anything and also because it was so warm i completely like backed off him because i well i was struggling so i was like he's gonna be struggling and um there's literally nothing i could have really done i just i don't know psychologically I couldn't get into my head to like push him harder and like make him work harder because I was like he's struggling so um maybe that's me being a bit soft but then again I'd prefer to be like that than like you must work ah! um so anyway we got in the test and because he was just too long and flat so the first halt was like um not engaged he wasn't engaged in his canter so he's a little bit more in the rain his trot was all right wasn't anything special like yesterday uh walk was flumpy um didn't get my twos oh yeah he did ones in my twos which is good because you know that's what we're teaching him to do at the moment but not quite what i wanted so anyway i'm a little bit it's a little bit of a disappointment after yesterday but i do understand why it happened i didn't have him together enough um maybe I should have rode him a little bit better but then you just don't know with weather like this but it's something that I have to think about because when I start competing abroad um, internationally and you don't really have the choice so you have to learn to cope you have to learn to warm them up for less time and warm them up better but um, I don't know what I got it will not be good though because we made a lot of mistakes but anyway I need to cool down try and get some lunch and then get eagle ready and I'm really worried about eagle as well it's too hot too hot so man what did I get 66.5 and what tell me each judge so 65 65 68 oh someone liked us today as I sweat so much I want to go pile the calories back on so I'm gonna get an ice cream this is what's great about doing that calorie counter though because normally if I'd had like one bad thing I'd be like that's it I'm just gonna go wild but because I can count it and see what's happening I can be like actually Olivia you're still on track for the day even to lose a pound even when you had an ice cream so calm down and I think this will keep me a lot more in balance so I'm gonna go and have an ice cream yes
time to plot up. I'm absolutely boiling. Sorry guys, I feel like this is gonna be one weird vlog because I'm just so hot. I'm struggling to get through everything um, and setting up the camera as well, I just keep forgetting because I'm just like, um, so I'm gonna get giggle be be I'm gonna get ready now to do the PSG on Eagle. I am a little bit worried about the heat, but I'm gonna also try and ride him properly. So that's that. Yeah, let's crack on and then we can go home and they can go out in the field. Not my fave footwear in this heat. I think it is getting worse. It's getting hotter, guys. In learning more about the new world class selection and performance pathway, there'll be a short presentation today at 4 quick, quick. pm. So, up the stairs. Hello, Mr. Pay. I am very all right. Oh, I think so. It's very difficult conditions, isn't it? was and then it was 10 minutes late going in. You couldn't get his breath. Serena Pincus and Shipko Fantasia, their total 64.36%. Roger Gregory and Comanche Woden, 65.38%. Very green at this level, isn't he? So yes. it'll either come off now or it won't. <laughs> come on, 
ride him. Don't back off ride. Look where the centre line is. Right. Good. Down the arena, better. Good. Well, I don't think he could do any better than that. Lift your hand up. Good. Steady, steady collection on the hind leg. Walk. Come on, Eagle. Oh, good girl. She's going to kill me for the filming of this because mm -hmm. she's going to kill me about filming it. I've looked over the top of the. I hope you've got her in the picture all the time. Not no, the I haven't. Don't clap, he doesn't like. Clap, clap, clap. Oh, oh. Over here. I don't think he could have done much better than No, that. listen, he did everything, you know, he, 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 he couldn't do better. Oh my god, I can't wait to talk about this test, but I'm not going to do it in the car park because that would be embarrassing. Okay, so I've cooled down and I am so happy to say that he did the best test ever for him. Um, he was amazing, like so so good. He did everything I asked him. He felt in, he felt in a good balance. Um, he just felt amazing for him, and I'm so so proud because there's a really hard class. Um, so I just looked at his marks, and he got 67 from one judge, 67 from another, and 65 from one. So I can't seem to get his average mark on the computer. So I'm gonna go and check. But I'm guessing it's gonna be 66, which is fine, um, because it's such a like hot class. And there are some incredible horses in there. So I'm just really, really happy because I'm just really, really happy. I, how good was he, Mum? Really good. He's amazing. Like, literally buzzing. I was so happy. So, so happy. Mm, he's so good. He's so clever. This is going to do my head in because I won't know. Well, what we can go and look. So we're going to go and see what Mark he got and get an ice cream. Yay. Mum's having an ice cream too. Thank you. So Eagle's currently fifth in the uh, Young Horse PSG in the top eight qualified to the gala evening on Saturday. So I will see, maybe he'll qualify, maybe he won't. Be ridiculous if he does. 
mum's blowing the lorry. Um, but we're just gonna pack up and go home now. It's time to muck out. Oh, you want me to do the hay and water? Or do you want to do I'll it? muck out. I'll be quicker. So the ponies are in the field, um, we're going to unpack the lorry and tidy it and then I'm going to do lates and do the yard and then I'm going to get some food and then I've got to do a little bit of work to catch it, actually I might do that tomorrow, I'm blabbing, um, but basically I'm going to end the vlog here, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, I'm so glad I got to share the journey with you of Eagle's first young horse PSG, um, which is really cool, really exciting, that's the second horse I've done that with. Um, third horse that I've trained up to that level from scratch, which is really cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, that's the end of the vlog. So if you have enjoyed it, let me know why. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, like, tag a friend, and I'll see you for the next one.